thinking, for the future, it might make sense to shoot these videos in front of the Christmas tree. Although I was thinking we should probably swap out these ornaments with the new frost ones. Victoria frost ornaments on my family tree? Oh, don't worry, Donna. You'll be able to keep them at wholesale. Really? <laughs> well, maybe I'll enter this year's decorating contest after all. Sure. Why not? That's just a short clip from the new holiday film from Ion, Dog Napped, Hound for the Holidays, starring Kimberly Don Guerrero, who's actually joining us now in studio. Kimberly, thank you so much for joining us here on Live in the Bay. We're so appreciative. Thank you so much for having me. It's great to be here with you this morning. Of course. Now, we have to talk about this upcoming film, which actually premieres November 27th. Very, very exciting, especially for the holidays. Now, for you, what was it like filming this movie and getting the overall holiday experience? Oh, my gosh. It was so much fun. There's nothing like filming a holiday movie and you throw a dog movie on top of that. And it was just such um, an incredible feeling on set. It's funny, though, because we shot the movie. It's a Christmas movie, but we shot in the middle of a heat wave in L.A. So when you're watching the movie, um, it's got that cold, like Christmas feel, but we're actually shooting in a 100 degree heat wave. <laughs> Oh my gosh, that's so funny too. I know a lot of people probably don't even expect that, but like yeah. you said, LA, heat wave, you know, it's a Christmas movie, but actually this isn't your first holiday movie. What's different from this film and some of the work that you've done in the past, Kimberly? Oh my God, I had such a good time filming this movie. It was just such a fun role. I play Victoria Frost. She is a egotistical um, famous influencer whose dog gets kidnapped before the holidays and this one was really fun because it's a mystery it's a romance there's a little bit of a love story between my assistant and the town vet and the movie involves a dog and it was my first time shooting a film with a dog and it was such a fun experience i'm an animal lover so that was really fun to do also it was a perfect match now for you when it comes to your character victoria what are some similarities and some differences that you see in your own character between you and victoria i hope i'm nothing like victoria <laughs> <laughs> i i mean i had so much fun playing her she's so out of touch with reality which was really fun so i was like okay i'm gonna take this big media personality who's really full of herself but i'm gonna find the comedy in her which was really fun to do so, and it's really fun to tackle characters that are very different than me in real life. And as an actor, what is the process when it comes to studying a character that is so different from you characteristically wise? What goes into the process of having to jump into that character? You know, um, sometimes I'm influenced by somebody I've met in the past and I'm like, okay, if not for this movie, for this movie, I, I didn't know anyone that was quite like Victoria. So I kind of had to pull from nowhere and just kind of uh, dig into her uh, character. But uh, yes, I, a lot of times I pull from like somebody I've seen, like I'm a big people watcher. So that helps a lot. <laughs> <laughs> I can imagine. Now, for fans who have maybe never heard of the preview or the movie itself, what can they expect from this new movie? Oh my gosh, it's such a wonderful film for the whole family. It's a holiday movie, it's a dog movie, and it's just a really good, um, fun, fun film to watch with the whole family. Now, Kimberly, you've been in a lot of other work before. You know, you've been in Anchorman 2, Blackish, CSI New York, just to name a few. Now, for you, how have you seen yourself grow in your acting career over the years? Um, I think the roles have just gotten better. Like, um, we start off in this business with a couple lines on a TV show, and now I'm starring in my first holiday movie. I've had supporting roles, but this is my first lead role in a holiday film. So this was really exciting and special to do. And what is the difference between a lead role and some of the other roles that you have had in the past? Um, just the time, just the amount of time that you spend on the project and um, or a movie like this. And um, there's a little bit of pressure because uh, my character has to carry the film. But that's also really fun. And I feel like I've grown a lot into my place as an actress to be able to do that now. Now, is there any other upcoming work people can expect to see you in in the upcoming days and weeks? Yes, I have another film in post-production. It's called Deadly Draw. It was an indie film, and I shot it with the late Ed Asner, so it was his very last project. So looking forward to seeing that um, come out in the near future as well. Wonderful. We're looking forward to that as well. Now, when it comes to the holidays, Kimberly, for you personally, what are some of your favorite holiday traditions? Oh, I love being with the family. That's everything to me during the holidays. And also, I mean, I love the holidays. My tree is up right now. I put my tree up, I have to admit, on not October 31st, on November 1st. So for me, the holiday season <laughs> kicks off. <laughs> right. 
for me, the holiday season kicks off November 1st. I like to soak up as much of that joy, like, for a couple months as I can. Well, you're really setting the standard, too. I was going to say that tree is absolutely beautiful behind you. You're setting the standard for us over here at Live in the Bay. <laughs> Thank you. I didn't let my husband touch it. He's like, it's kind of my project. So. <laughs> you're like, this is mine. I'm going to do it. Just hands <laughs> off. <laughs> now, Kimberly, one more for you before I let you go. Any tips out there for aspiring actors, actresses, or just anybody who, you know, wants to accomplish a dream and maybe doesn't have the, quite the self-confidence? Oh, my gosh. Believe in yourself. I feel like anybody that puts in the hard work can um, accomplish anything they want to. And in this industry, it's a lot of no's, but if you have perseverance, um, I mean, sometimes it works out in the end. And I think it's just a matter of hard work and there's a little bit of luck, but I think more, more work and just having a lot of confidence in yourself. Wonderful. Well, thank you so much for your time, Kimberly. We really appreciate it.